The Founding Dynasty and the Restoration of China The establishment of the Qing Dynasty, also known as the Great Qing, in 1644 marked a significant turning point in the history of China. This dynasty lasted for over 260 years and had a profound impact on the culture, society, and politics of China. In this article, we will explore the birth of the Qing dynasty and its contributions to the restoration and advancement of China. Historical Context The Qing dynasty emerged in the wake of the collapse of the Ming dynasty, which had been marked by political instability, economic decline, and social unrest. The Qing dynasty was established by the Manchu people, who had previously been a minority group in China but had gained power through military conquest. Political and Social Reforms The Qing dynasty was characterized by significant political and social reforms, aimed at promoting stability and prosperity. These reforms included the establishment of a centralized bureaucracy, the expansion of the civil service system, and the promotion of Confucianism as the dominant philosophy of the state. These reforms helped to create a more stable and efficient government, and contributed to the growth and development of China. Economic Development The Qing Dynasty was also a time of significant economic growth and development, with the expansion of agriculture, trade, and industry. The government promoted the development of agriculture by providing incentives for farmers to cultivate new lands, and by investing in irrigation and other infrastructure projects. The growth of trade and industry was facilitated by the establishment of maritime trade networks, which connected China with other regions of the world. Literature and Philosophy The Qing Dynasty was a time of significant literary and philosophical achievement. With writers and scholars producing works of poetry, prose, and philosophy that helped to shape the cultural and intellectual landscape of China. Notable figures of this time include Gu Yanwu, who was known for his criticism of traditional Confucianism, and Wu Jingzi, who wrote the satirical novel The Scholars. Science and Technology The Qing Dynasty was also marked by significant scientific and technological advancement. With scholars and inventors developing new technologies and techniques that help to improve agriculture, manufacturing, and warfare. These developments included the invention of the seed drill, the development of the water-powered spinning wheel, and the refinement of the musket. Education and Scholarship The Qing Dynasty was a time of significant emphasis on education and scholarship, with the establishment of a formal educational system and the expansion of the civil service examination system. The government promoted education and scholarship as a means of promoting social mobility and ensuring the recruitment of talented individuals into government positions. Infrastructure Development The Qing Dynasty was characterized by significant infrastructure development, with the construction of roads, bridges, canals, and other public works projects. These projects helped to improve communication and transportation, and facilitated the growth of trade and commerce. Military Reforms The Qing Dynasty was also marked by significant military reforms, aimed at improving the efficiency and effectiveness of the military. These reforms included the establishment of a professional standing army, the development of new weapons and tactics, and the expansion of the military garrisons along the northern borders of China. Art and Architecture The Qing Dynasty was a time of significant artistic and architectural achievement, with the development of new styles and techniques in painting, sculpture, and architecture. Notable examples of Qing Dynasty art and architecture include the Forbidden City, the Summer Palace, and the Qing Dynasty Porcelain. Legacy and Influence The Qing Dynasty had a lasting impact on the culture, society, and politics of China, and its legacy can be Seen in the continued importance of Confucianism and, and Chinese culture, the development of science, medicine, and agriculture, and the recognition of women's contributions to society 
The Qing dynasty also had a broader impact on the history of East Asia, influencing the cultural and intellectual traditions of Japan, Korea, and other neighboring countries. Foreign Relations During the Qing dynasty, China established diplomatic relations with neighboring states and engaged in trade and cultural exchange with countries as far as Europe. These relations facilitated the spread of Chinese culture, technology, and ideas, and contributed to the growth and expansion of the Chinese Empire. Medicine and Health The Qing Dynasty was also characterized by significant advances in medicine and health, with the development of new treatments and techniques for diagnosing and treating illness. Notable medical figures of this time include Li Shijun, who wrote the Compendium of Materia Medica, a comprehensive encyclopedia of traditional Chinese medicine. Women's Rights and Education The Qing Dynasty was a time of significant recognition of women's rights and contributions to society. Women were given opportunities to receive education and participate in literary activities. Some women even achieved positions of power and influence, such as Empress Dowager Qixi, who acted as regent for her son and grandson. Religious Tolerance The Qing Dynasty was also characterized by a policy of religious tolerance, with the government. Allowing the practice of various religions, including Buddhism, Taoism, Islam, and Christianity. This policy contributed to the cultural diversity and religious harmony of China. The Qing Dynasty was a time of significant architectural and engineering achievements, with the creation of impressive buildings, bridges, and other public works projects. Legacy and Influence the Qing dynasty had a significant impact on the culture, society, and politics of China, and its legacy can be seen in the continued importance of Confucianism and, and Chinese culture, the development of science, medicine, and agriculture, and the recognition of women's contributions to society. The Qing dynasty also had a broader impact on the history of East Asia, influencing the cultural and intellectual traditions of Japan. Korea, and other neighboring countries. Architecture and Engineering The Qing Dynasty was a time of significant architectural and engineering achievements, with the creation of impressive buildings, bridges, and other public works projects. Notable examples include the Link Canal, the Iron Pagoda, and the Great Wall of China. Legal Reforms the Qing dynasty was also marked by significant legal reforms, aimed at promoting social justice and protecting the rights of individuals. These reforms included the establishment of a legal code, the abolition of torture as a means of obtaining confessions, and the promotion of the principle of presumption of innocence. Education and Literacy The Qing dynasty placed a strong emphasis on education and literacy, with the expansion of the educational system and the promotion of literacy among the general population. The government also encouraged the translation of foreign works into Chinese, which contributed to the spread of knowledge and ideas. Agriculture and Environmental Conservation The Qing Dynasty was a time of significant agricultural innovation and environmental. Conservation with the development of new techniques for irrigation, fertilization, and crop rotation. The government also implemented policies aimed at protecting forests and wildlife, and promoting sustainable agriculture. Legacy and Influence The Qing Dynasty had a lasting impact on the culture, society, and politics of China, and its legacy can be seen in the continued importance of Confucianism and Chinese culture, the development of science, medicine, and agriculture, and the establishment of a legal system based on social justice and individual rights. The Qing dynasty also had a broader impact on the history of East Asia, influencing the cultural and intellectual traditions of Japan, Korea, and other neighboring countries. The Rise of the Qing Dynasty The Qing Dynasty emerged in the wake of the collapse of the Ming Dynasty, 
which had been marked by political instability, economic decline, and social unrest. The Manchu people, who had long been a powerful military force in the region, took advantage of the chaos to launch a successful invasion of China. In 1644, they captured Beijing and established the Qing dynasty. Political and Social Reforms Under the Qing dynasty, China underwent significant political and social reforms aimed at promoting stability and prosperity. The Birth of the Song Dynasty in Chinese Culture The Song Dynasty, which ruled China from 960 to 1279, was a time of significant cultural and artistic achievement. The Song Dynasty emerged in the wake of the collapse of the Tang Dynasty and the subsequent period of political fragmentation and social unrest. It was marked by significant advancements in science, technology, literature and the arts, and it had a lasting impact on the culture and society of China. The Rise of the Song Dynasty The Song Dynasty emerged in the mid-10th century, after a period of political fragmentation known as the Five Dynasties and Ten Kingdoms period. The first emperor of the Song Dynasty, Taizu, was a military general who rose to power by defeating his rivals and consolidating his rule over China. Political and Social Reforms Under the Song Dynasty, China underwent significant political and social reforms aimed at promoting stability and prosperity. These reforms included the establishment of a centralized bureaucracy, the expansion of the civil service system, and the promotion of Confucianism as the dominant philosophy of the state. These reforms helped to create a more stable and efficient government and contributed to the growth and development of China. Economic Development The Song Dynasty was also a time of significant economic growth and development, with the expansion of agriculture, trade, and industry. The government promoted the development of agriculture by providing incentives for farmers to cultivate new lands and by investing in irrigation and other infrastructure projects. The growth of trade and industry was facilitated by the establishment of maritime trade networks, which connected China with other regions of the world. Literature and Philosophy the Song Dynasty was a time of significant literary and philosophical achievement, with writers and scholars producing works of poetry, prose, and philosophy that helped to shape the cultural and intellectual landscape of China. Notable figures of this time include Su Shi, who was known for his poetry and prose, and Zhu Eleven, who developed a system of Confucian thought known as Neo-Confucianism. Science and Technology The Song Dynasty was also marked by significant scientific and technological advancement. With scholars and inventors developing new technologies and techniques that helped to improve agriculture, manufacturing, and warfare. These developments included the invention of movable type printing, the development of gunpowder, and the refinement of the compass. Education and Scholarship The Song Dynasty was a time of significant emphasis on education and scholarship, with the establishment of a formal educational system and the expansion of the civil service examination system. The government promoted education and scholarship as a means of promoting social mobility and ensuring the recruitment of talented individuals into government positions. Architecture and Art The Song Dynasty was characterized by significant artistic and architectural achievement, with the creation of impressive buildings, bridges, and other public works projects. Notable examples include the Song Yue Pagoda, the Iron Pagoda, and the Yue Yan Tower. The Song Dynasty was also a time of significant artistic achievement, with painters and poets producing works of great beauty and sophistication. Legacy and Influence 
The Song Dynasty had a significant impact on the culture, society, and politics of China, and its legacy can be seen in the continued importance of Confucianism and Chinese culture, the development of science, medicine, and agriculture, and the establishment of a legal system based on social justice and individual rights. The Song Dynasty also had a broader impact on the history of East Asia, influencing the cultural and intellectual traditions of Japan, Korea, and other neighboring countries. Maritime Trade and Exploration The Song Dynasty was a time of significant maritime trade and exploration, with Chinese ships traveling to Southeast Asia, India, and the Middle East. The government encouraged the growth of maritime trade networks, which helped to expand China's economy and promote cultural exchange with other regions of the world. The Song Dynasty also supported the exploration of new lands, with the famous explorer Zheng He leading expeditions to Southeast Asia and Africa. Women's Rights and Education the Song Dynasty was also notable for its relative openness to women's rights and education. With women being encouraged to pursue education and participate in intellectual and cultural activities. The poet Li Qingzhao was one of the most famous female writers of the time, and she produced works of poetry and prose that are still celebrated today. Buddhism and Taoism while Confucianism was the dominant philosophy of the state, the Song Dynasty was also marked by significant advancements in Buddhism and Taoism. Buddhist monks and scholars produced important works of philosophy and literature, and Taoist thinkers developed new ideas about the relationship between humans and nature. Political Decline and the Mongol Conquest Despite its many achievements, the Song Dynasty was eventually weakened by political instability, corruption, and military weakness. In 1279, the Mongols conquered China and established the Yuan Dynasty, bringing an end to the Song Dynasty and ushering in a new period of Chinese history. Culinary Culture The Song Dynasty was also a time of significant development in culinary culture, with new cooking techniques and dishes emerging. The use of chopsticks became widespread, and tea drinking became an important part of daily life. The famous poet Lu Yu wrote the first book on tea, The Classic of Tea, which is still considered a seminal work on tea. Urbanization The Song Dynasty was also marked by significant urbanization, with the expansion of cities and the growth of urban culture. The capital city of Kaifeng was one of the largest and most advanced cities in the world during this time, with a population of over 1 million people. Urban culture was characterized by the emergence of new forms of entertainment, such as theater, music, and dance. Military Technology The Song Dynasty was also a time of significant advancement in military technology, with the development of new weapons and tactics. Gunpowder was invented during this time, and it was used in weapons such as cannons, rockets, and firearms. The Chinese also developed new forms of armor and defensive fortifications to protect against enemy attacks. Philosophy and Ethics The Song Dynasty was marked by significant philosophical and ethical debates, with scholars and Thinkers exploring new ideas about the nature of reality and the role of humanity in the world. The philosopher Cheng Yi developed a system of moral philosophy known as the Way of Principle, which emphasized the importance of moral behavior and ethical conduct. Cultural Exchange The Song Dynasty was a time of significant cultural exchange, with China trading and communicating with other regions of the world, including Japan. Korea, and Southeast Asia. This exchange of ideas and goods helped to shape the cultural and intellectual traditions of these regions and contributed to the growth and development of East Asian civilization. 
Social and Economic Inequality Despite the significant achievements of the Song Dynasty, it was also marked by social and economic inequality. The wealthy elite held most of the political and economic power, while the lower classes struggled to make ends meet. This inequality contributed to social unrest and political instability in the later years of the dynasty. Calligraphy The Song Dynasty was also a time of significant achievement in calligraphy, with artists developing new styles and techniques that helped to elevate calligraphy to a form of high art. Calligraphy became an important means of self-expression and cultural identity, and it remains an important part of Chinese culture today. Mathematics and Science The Song Dynasty was also marked by significant advancements in mathematics and science, with scholars and inventors developing new theories and technologies. The Buddhist monk Jianjin played a significant role in spreading Buddhism to Japan, while the Taoist philosopher Zhang Baduin developed new ideas about the relationship between humans and nature. The mathematician Qin Jiaxiao developed a new method for solving equations, while the astronomer Guo Shoujang made important contributions to the study of astronomy and the calendar. Religion and Spirituality The Song Dynasty was marked by significant religious and spiritual diversity, with Buddhism. The Wu Dynasty and China's Rise and Fall the Ngo dynasty was a brief period of Chinese history, lasting from 902 to 937. Despite its short reign, the Ngo dynasty played an important role in the development of Chinese culture and politics, and it was marked by significant achievements and challenges. The Rise of the Ngo Dynasty The Ngo dynasty emerged in the aftermath of the Tang dynasty, a period of political fragmentation and instability known as the Five Dynasties and Ten Kingdoms period. The first emperor of the Ngo dynasty, Taizu, was a military general who rose to power by defeating his rivals and consolidating his rule over China. Political and Social Reforms Under the Ngo dynasty, China underwent significant political and social reforms aimed at promoting stability and prosperity. These reforms included the establishment of a centralized bureaucracy, the promotion of Confucianism as the dominant philosophy of the state, and the expansion of the civil service system. These reforms helped to create a more stable and efficient government and contributed to the growth and development of China. Economic Development The Ngo dynasty was also a time of significant economic growth and development, with the expansion of agriculture, trade, and industry. The government promoted the development of agriculture by providing incentives for farmers to cultivate new lands and by investing in irrigation and other infrastructure projects. The growth of trade and industry was facilitated by the establishment of maritime trade networks, which connected China with other regions of the world. Literature and Philosophy The Ngo dynasty was a time of significant literary and philosophical achievement, with writers and scholars. Producing works of poetry, prose, and philosophy that helped to shape the cultural and intellectual landscape of China. Notable figures of this time include the poet Li Shangying, who was known for his poems that explored themes of love and beauty, and the philosopher Han Yu, who was a proponent of Confucianism. Foreign Relations The Ngo dynasty faced significant challenges in its foreign relations, as it struggled to maintain its independence and sovereignty in the face of aggressive neighboring powers. The Khitan Empire, a powerful nomadic state in the north, posed a significant threat to the Ngo dynasty, and the two powers engaged in frequent conflicts. Decline and Legacy Despite its significant achievements, 
the NGO dynasty was ultimately weakened by political instability, corruption, and military weakness. In 937, the dynasty was conquered by the Tang dynasty, bringing an end to its brief reign. However, the Ngo dynasty played an important role in the development of Chinese culture and society, and its legacy can be seen in the continued importance of Confucianism and Chinese culture. Military Reforms The Ngo dynasty was also marked by significant military reforms, as the government sought to strengthen its defenses and maintain its independence in the face of external threats. The military was reorganized into a more efficient and centralized system, and new weapons and tactics were developed to improve its effectiveness. Buddhism and Taoism While Confucianism was the dominant philosophy of the state, the Ngo dynasty was also marked by significant advancements in Buddhism and Taoism. Buddhist monks and scholars produced important works of philosophy and literature, and Taoist thinkers developed new ideas about the relationship between humans and nature. Art and Architecture The Ngo dynasty was also characterized by significant artistic and architectural achievement, with the creation of impressive buildings, bridges, and other public works projects. Notable examples include the Nanjing City Wall and the Daming Palace. The Ngo dynasty was also a time of significant artistic achievement, with painters and poets producing works of great beauty and sophistication. Educational Reforms The Ngo dynasty was a time of significant emphasis on education and scholarship, with the establishment of a formal educational system and the expansion of the civil service examination system. The government promoted education and scholarship as a means of promoting social mobility and ensuring the recruitment of talented individuals into government positions. Political instability Despite its many achievements, the Ngo dynasty was eventually weakened by political instability, corruption and military weakness. The dynasty was marked by frequent internal conflicts and struggles for power, which contributed to its eventual downfall. Legacy and Influence The Ngo dynasty had a significant impact on the culture, society, and politics of China, and its legacy can be seen in the continued importance of Confucianism and Chinese culture, the growth of trade and industry, and the emphasis on education and scholarship. While the Ngo dynasty eventually declined and was conquered by the Tang dynasty, its achievements continue to inspire and inform Chinese culture and society today. Social and Economic Inequality Similar to other dynasties in Chinese history, the Ngo dynasty struggled with issues of social and economic inequality. The wealthy elite held most of the political and economic power, while the lower classes struggled to make ends meet. This inequality contributed to social unrest and political instability in the later years of the dynasty. Poetry The Ngo dynasty was a time of significant achievement in poetry, with poets producing works that explored themes of love, nature, and philosophy. The famous poet Li Shanying was known for his evocative and sensual poems, while other poets such as Wei Zhuang and Zhang Yan wrote about the beauty of nature and the transience of life. Foreign Trade The Ngo dynasty was marked by significant growth in foreign trade, with the establishment of maritime trade networks that connected China with other regions of the world. The government promoted the growth of foreign trade by encouraging the development of new industries, such as silk weaving and porcelain production, and by providing incentives for traders and merchants to engage in foreign trade. Philosophy and Ethics 
The Ngo dynasty was also marked by significant philosophical and ethical debates, with scholars and thinkers. Exploring new ideas about the nature of reality and the role of humanity in the world. The philosopher Han Yu was a proponent of Confucianism and wrote extensively about the importance of ethical behavior and moral conduct. Religion and Spirituality The Ngo dynasty was marked by significant religious and spiritual diversity, with Buddhism, Taoism, and Confucianism all playing important roles in the cultural and intellectual landscape of the time. The Buddhist monk Jianjin played a significant role in spreading Buddhism to Japan, while the Taoist philosopher Zhang Baduin developed new ideas about the relationship between humans and nature. Military Conflicts The Ngo dynasty faced significant military conflicts, both internally and externally. The Khitan Empire posed a significant threat to the Ngo dynasty in the north, while rebellions and uprisings challenged the government's authority in other regions of China. Legacy and Influence The Ngo dynasty played an important role in the development of Chinese culture and society. And its legacy can be seen in the continued importance of Confucianism and Chinese culture, the growth of trade and industry, and the emphasis on education and scholarship. While the Ngo dynasty eventually declined and was conquered by the Tang dynasty, its achievements continue to inspire and inform Chinese culture and society today. Agricultural Innovations The Ngo dynasty was also marked by significant innovations in agriculture, with the development of new irrigation techniques and the introduction of new crops. The government promoted the expansion of agriculture by investing in infrastructure projects and providing incentives for farmers to cultivate new lands. Science and Technology The Ngo dynasty was also marked by significant advancements in science and technology, with scholars and inventors developing new theories and technologies. The mathematician Li Chunfeng made important contributions to the study of astronomy and mathematics. While the inventor Bai Sheng developed movable type printing, which revolutionized the printing industry. Women's Rights The Ngo dynasty was a time of relative gender equality, with women enjoying more rights and freedoms than in previous dynasties. Women were allowed to own property, inherit land, and pursue education, and some even held government positions. The poetess Li Yi was one notable female figure of this time. Important Historical Events of China During the Second World War China played a significant role in World War II, with the country facing significant Challenges and making important contributions to the Allied war effort. Let's explore some of the most significant events in China's history during World War II. Marco Polo Bridge Incident The Marco Polo Bridge Incident in July 1937 is often considered the start of the Second Sino-Japanese War, which was part of the larger conflict of World War II. The incident involved a clash between Chinese and Japanese troops near Beijing, which quickly escalated into a full-scale invasion of China by Japan. The Long March In 1934, the Chinese Communist Party, CCP, embarked on the Long March, a strategic retreat from the nationalist forces of Chiang Kai-shek. The Long March covered over 6,000 miles and lasted for over a year, and it allowed the CCP to regroup and rebuild its forces in the face of the Japanese invasion. The Burma Road The Burma Road was a vital supply route that allowed the Allies to send military supplies and aid to China during the war. 
The road was built by the Chinese and British forces, and it was a key factor in keeping China in the war against Japan. The Battle of Changsha The Battle of Changsha was a series of battles fought between Chinese and Japanese forces in 1939 and 1941. The battles were significant in that they marked the first time that the Chinese forces were able to repel a large scale. Japanese invasion, and they helped to boost morale and confidence among the Chinese people. The Flying Tigers The Flying Tigers were a group of American volunteers who flew combat missions in support of the Chinese Air Force. The Flying Tigers played a significant role in protecting Chinese cities and towns from Japanese bombing raids, and their bravery and skill helped to inspire the Chinese people. The Doolittle Raid The Doolittle Raid was a bombing raid carried out by the United States in April 1942, in which American bombers flew from an aircraft carrier and attacked Tokyo and other Japanese cities. While the raid did not cause significant damage, it was a morale boost for the Allies and helped to demonstrate that Japan was vulnerable to attack. The Battle of Stalingrad While not directly involving Chinese forces, the Battle of Stalingrad was a significant turning point in World War II that had important implications for China. The Soviet victory at Stalingrad helped to weaken the German war effort and forced Japan to focus more of its resources on the Eastern Front, which allowed China to maintain its resistance against the Japanese invasion. The Cairo Conference The Cairo Conference was a meeting between the leaders of the United States, Great Britain, and China in November 1943, in which they discussed their plans for the post-war world. The conference resulted in a joint declaration that affirmed China's territorial integrity and called for the return of territories that had been seized by Japan. The Battle of Okinawa The Battle of Okinawa was a major battle fought between the United States and Japan in 1945, which resulted in the defeat of Japanese forces and the eventual end of the war. The battle had important implications for China, as it helped to weaken Japan's military and pave the way for China's eventual victory in the war. The Yalta Conference The Yalta Conference was a meeting between the leaders of the United States, Great Britain, and the Soviet Union in February 1945, in which they discussed their plans for the post-war world. At the conference, China was recognized as one of the world's major powers and was granted a permanent seat on the United Nations Security Council. The Battle of Shanghai The Battle of Shanghai was a significant battle fought between Chinese and Japanese forces in 1937, which marked the beginning of the Second Sino-Japanese War. The battle was one of the largest and bloodiest battles of the war, and it resulted in the Japanese capture of the city. The Second United Front The Second United Front was a coalition between the Chinese Communist Party and the Nationalist Party, formed in 1937 in response to the Japanese invasion. The coalition was an important factor in China's resistance against Japan, and it helped to pave the way for the eventual communist victory in the Chinese Civil War. The Battle of Wuhan The Battle of Wuhan was a series of battles fought between Chinese and Japanese forces in 1938, which resulted in the Japanese capture of the city. The battle was significant in that it marked the first time that Japanese forces had captured a major Chinese city, and it highlighted the strength and determination of the Chinese resistance. The Rape of Nanking The Rape of Nanking was a mass killing and rape of Chinese civilians by Japanese troops in Nanking, now Nanjing, in 1937. The event was one of the most brutal and horrific atrocities of the war, and it had a significant impact on Chinese and international perceptions of the Japanese military. 
The Battle of Kuanyang The Battle of Kuanyang was a series of battles fought between Chinese and Japanese forces in 1942, which resulted in the Chinese victory and the repulsion of the Japanese invasion. The battle was significant in that it marked the first time that Chinese forces had successfully defended a major city against a large-scale Japanese invasion. The Cairo Declaration The Cairo Declaration was a joint declaration issued by the leaders of the United States, Great Britain, and China in December 1943, in which they called for the unconditional surrender of Japan and affirmed their commitment to the principles of democracy and human rights. The Battle of the Salween River The Battle of the Salween River was a series of battles fought between Chinese and Japanese forces in 1943, which resulted in the Chinese victory and the repulsion of the Japanese invasion. The battle was significant in that it marked the first time that Chinese forces had successfully defended a major river against a large-scale Japanese invasion. The United Nations Relief and Rehabilitation Administration, UNRWA The United Nations Relief and Rehabilitation Administration, UNRWA was established in 1943 to provide assistance to countries affected by World War II, including China. UNRWA provided food, medical supplies, and other aid to Chinese civilians and soldiers, and its efforts helped to alleviate the suffering caused by the war. The Battle of Changda The Battle of Changda was a series of battles fought between Chinese and Japanese forces in 1943, which resulted in the Chinese victory and the repulsion of the Japanese invasion. The battle was significant in that it marked the first time that Chinese forces had successfully defended a major city against a large-scale Japanese invasion since the Battle of Wuhan. The Yunnan-Burma Road The Yunnan-Burma Road was a supply route that connected China with British-controlled Burma during the war. The road was a vital supply line that allowed the Allies to send military supplies and aid to China, and it played a significant role in keeping China in the war against Japan. The Battle of West Hunan The Battle of West Hunan was a series of battles fought between Chinese and Japanese forces in 1945, which resulted in the Chinese victory and the repulsion of the Japanese invasion. The battle was significant in that it marked the last major land battle of the war in China, and it helped to weaken Japan's military and pave the way for the eventual Allied victory. The Cairo Agreement The Cairo Agreement was a treaty signed between China and the Allied powers in December 1943, in which they agreed to cooperate in the war effort against Japan and affirmed their commitment to the principles of democracy and human rights. The Chinese Expeditionary Force The Chinese Expeditionary Force was a military force that was sent to Burma to fight alongside the Allies against the Japanese. The force was made up of over 100,000 Chinese soldiers, and its efforts helped to weaken Japan's military and pave the way for the eventual Allied victory. In conclusion, World War II had a significant impact on China, as the country faced significant challenges and made important contributions to the Allied war effort. The Chinese resistance against the Japanese invasion, and its strategic contributions to the war effort helped to weaken Japan's military and pave the way for the eventual Allied victory. The events of World War II continue to influence China's history and its role in the world today. The Marco Polo Bridge Incident, on July 7, 1937, Japanese troops stationed near Beijing clashed with Chinese troops at the Marco Polo Bridge, triggering a full-scale invasion of China by Japan. Jin Dynasty and China's Development The Tang Dynasty, 
which ruled China from 618 to 907 AD, is considered one of the most prosperous and culturally significant periods in Chinese history. Let's explore the Tang Dynasty and its impact on the development of China. Political and Social Development Under the Tang Dynasty, China experienced a period of political stability and expansion. With the empire reaching its territorial height and establishing diplomatic relations with neighboring countries, the dynasty also implemented significant social reforms, such as the equal field system, which helped to redistribute land and alleviate poverty. Economic Development The Tang Dynasty saw significant economic development, with the expansion of trade and commerce both within China and with neighboring countries along the Silk Road. The government implemented policies to promote agricultural production, improve transportation infrastructure and support the growth of handicrafts and manufacturing. Cultural Development The Tang Dynasty is considered a golden age of Chinese culture, with significant achievements in literature art, music, and architecture. The dynasty saw the development of prominent poets such as Li Bei and Du Fu, and the creation of significant works of literature such as The Journey to the West and The Records of the Grand Historian. Religious Development The Tang Dynasty was marked by significant religious diversity, with the spread of Buddhism, Taoism, and Confucianism. The dynasty saw the construction of prominent Buddhist temples and the growth of Buddhist scholarship, as well as the promotion of Confucianism as the official state ideology. International Relations The Tang Dynasty established diplomatic relations with neighboring countries, such as Korea, Japan, and Vietnam, and played a significant role in the spread of Chinese culture and influence across Asia. The dynasty also established the tribute system, which required neighboring countries to acknowledge the sovereignty of the Tang Empire and pay tribute in exchange for trade and political relations. Military Development The Tang Dynasty maintained a powerful military, which played a significant role in the expansion and defense of the empire. The dynasty saw the creation of the Anxi Protectorate, which was responsible for defending China's western borders and maintaining diplomatic relations with neighboring countries along the Silk Road. Scientific Development The Tang Dynasty saw significant advances in science and technology, with achievements in areas such as astronomy, mathematics and medicine. The dynasty saw the creation of the world's first printed book, the development of the abacus, and the use of gunpowder in military technology. Education Development Under the Tang Dynasty, education became more widely available, with the establishment of schools and the promotion of literacy. The dynasty saw the development of the imperial examination system, which allowed for the selection of officials based on merit rather than social status, and the creation of the Tang Academy of Literature, which was responsible for training officials and scholars. Urban Development The Tang Dynasty saw significant urban development, with the construction of new cities and the expansion of existing ones. The dynasty saw the creation of the capital city of Chang'an, which was one of the largest and most. prosperous cities in the world at the time, and the construction of significant architectural works such as the Big Wild Goose Pagoda. Gender Equality The Tang Dynasty was marked by significant advances in gender equality, with women achieving greater social and political status than in previous dynasties. Women were allowed to attend schools and participate in politics, and some women even held positions of power as empresses or high-ranking officials. Legacy The Tang Dynasty's legacy continues to influence Chinese culture and society today, 
with many of its achievements in literature, art, music, and science still celebrated and studied. The dynasty's legacy also continues to influence Chinese politics, with the concept of the mandate of heaven still used to describe the legitimacy of political rule. Challenges Despite its many achievements, the Tang dynasty also faced significant challenges, such as military conflicts with neighboring countries, economic instability, and social unrest. The dynasty eventually fell due to a combination of internal and external factors, including corruption within the government, invasion by foreign powers, and rebellion by local warlords. Foreign Influences The Tang Dynasty was marked by significant foreign influences, particularly from Central Asia, India, and Persia. These influences can be seen in the dynasty's art, architecture, music, religion, and language. Diplomacy The Tang Dynasty's diplomacy played a significant role in its expansion and influence across Asia. The dynasty established diplomatic relations with neighboring countries through the tribute system, which required neighboring countries to pay tribute in exchange for trade and political relations. Cultural Exchange The Tang Dynasty saw significant cultural exchange between China and neighboring countries, particularly through the Silk Road. The dynasty's achievements in literature, art, music, and religion were influenced by these exchanges, and the dynasty's own culture and influence spread throughout Asia. Agricultural Development The Tang Dynasty saw significant agricultural development, with improvements in irrigation technology, crop rotation, and the use of fertilizer. These developments helped to improve agricultural production and support the growth of China's economy. Legal System The Tang Dynasty saw significant developments in its legal system, with the creation of the Tang Code, which established a set of laws and punishments for various crimes. The Code helped to establish a more unified legal system and reduce corruption within the government. Ethnic diversity. The Tang dynasty was marked by significant ethnic diversity, with the empire encompassing many different ethnic groups. The dynasty's policies towards these groups were generally tolerant, and some ethnic groups even held positions of power within the government. Decline and fall. The Tang dynasty eventually fell due to a combination of factors, including economic instability, military conflicts, and internal corruption. The dynasty's decline and fall led to a period of political instability and fragmentation, known as the Five Dynasties and Ten Kingdoms period. Legacy Despite its eventual decline, the Tang Dynasty's legacy continues to influence China and the world today. The dynasty's achievements in culture, science, diplomacy, agriculture, and law helped to shape China's development and influence the growth of Asian civilization more broadly. Literature The Tang Dynasty is considered a golden age of Chinese literature, with significant contributions from poets such as Li Bei, Du Fu, and Wang Wei. The dynasty's literature was marked by its lyrical and romantic nature, as well as its influence from foreign cultures. Architecture The Tang Dynasty saw significant achievements in architecture, with the creation of impressive structures such as pagodas, temples, and palaces. The dynasty's architecture was marked by its grandeur, attention to detail, and influence from foreign cultures. Medicine The Tang Dynasty saw significant advancements in medicine, particularly in the areas of acupuncture and herbal medicine. The dynasty's medical texts and practices continue to influence traditional Chinese medicine today. Trade The Tang Dynasty saw significant expansion in trade, particularly along the Silk Road. 
the dynasty's trade relationships helped to promote economic growth and cultural exchange throughout Asia. Cuisine The Tang Dynasty saw significant developments in cuisine, with the creation of new dishes and cooking techniques. The dynasty's cuisine was marked by its use of spices and flavors, as well as its influence from foreign cultures. Music The Tang Dynasty saw significant achievements in music, particularly in the areas of court music and opera. The dynasty's music was marked by its use of traditional Chinese instruments, as well as its influence from foreign cultures. Education System The Tang Dynasty's education system was marked by its emphasis on education for all, regardless of social status. The dynasty saw the establishment of schools and the promotion of literacy, as well as the creation of the imperial examination system. Qing Dynasty and its contribution to Chinese culture. The Qing Dynasty, which ruled China from 1644 to 1912, was a significant period in Chinese history marked by political, economic, and cultural developments. Let's explore the Qing Dynasty and its impact on the development of Chinese culture. Political Development the Qing dynasty was marked by significant political developments, including the establishment of a centralized bureaucracy, the introduction of new legal codes, and the expansion of China's territory through military conquests. Economic Development Under the Qing dynasty, China experienced significant economic growth, with the expansion of trade and commerce both within China and with neighboring countries. The dynasty implemented policies to promote agricultural production, improve transportation infrastructure and support the growth of handicrafts and manufacturing. Cultural Development The Qing Dynasty was a significant period in the development of Chinese culture, with contributions in the areas of literature, art, music and architecture. The dynasty saw the development of prominent writers such as Cao Shuijin and Wu Jingzi and the creation of significant works of literature such as The Dream of the Red Chamber. Technological Development The Qing Dynasty saw significant technological advancements, particularly in the areas of agriculture, metallurgy, and transportation. The dynasty saw the development of new agricultural technologies, the invention of the blast furnace, and the improvement of roads and canals. Religion the Qing dynasty was marked by significant religious diversity, with the spread of Buddhism, Taoism, and Confucianism. The dynasty saw the construction of prominent Buddhist temples and the growth of Buddhist scholarship, as well as the promotion of Confucianism as the official state ideology. Legacy The Qing dynasty's legacy continues to influence Chinese culture and society today, with many of its achievements in literature art, music, and science still celebrated and studied. The dynasty's legacy also continues to influence Chinese politics and foreign policy. With the concept of the Middle Kingdom still used to describe China's self-perception as a central power in East Asia. Challenges Despite its many achievements, the Qing dynasty also faced significant challenges, such as political instability, economic crises, and social unrest. The dynasty eventually fell due to a combination of internal and external factors, including corruption within the government, invasions by foreign powers, and rebellion by local warlords. Impact on Chinese Culture The Qing dynasty's impact on Chinese culture cannot be overstated, with significant contributions to literature, art, music, science, and religion. The dynasty's legacy continues to influence Chinese culture and society today, and its achievements serve as a reminder of the richness and diversity of Chinese history and civilization. Art The Qing dynasty saw significant achievements in art, particularly in the areas of painting, 
calligraphy, and porcelain. The dynasty's art was marked by its use of vibrant colors, intricate designs, and attention to detail, and its influence can be seen in Chinese art throughout history. Architecture The Qing dynasty saw significant achievements in architecture, with the creation of impressive structures such as the Forbidden City and the Summer Palace. The dynasty's architecture was marked by its grandeur, symmetry, and use of decorative elements such as carvings and murals. Philosophy The Qing dynasty saw significant contributions to Chinese philosophy, particularly in the areas of Confucianism, Taoism, and Buddhism. The dynasty's philosophers, such as Wang Fuzi and Huang Zongxi, helped to shape Chinese thought and influence the development of Asian civilization. Education. Under the Qing dynasty, education became more widely available, with the establishment of schools and the promotion of literacy. The dynasty saw the development of new educational institutions, such as the Imperial College and the expansion of the civil service examination system. Science and Technology. The Qing dynasty saw significant advancements in science and technology, particularly in the areas of astronomy mathematics, and medicine. The dynasty's astronomers made significant contributions to the study of comets and the development of calendars. While its mathematicians developed new methods for calculating pi and solving equations. The dynasty's medical texts and practices also continue to influence traditional Chinese medicine today. Foreign Relations the Qing dynasty maintained diplomatic relations with neighboring states and foreign powers, particularly with European powers who sought to establish trade relations with China. The dynasty's foreign relations helped to promote cultural exchange and economic growth, and its influence can be seen in the development of Chinese foreign policy throughout history. Legacy Despite its eventual decline and fall, the Qing dynasty's legacy continues to influence Chinese and Asian culture and society today. The dynasty's achievements in art, architecture, education, science, technology, philosophy, and more helped to shape Chinese history and civilization, and continue to inspire scholars and thinkers around the world. Literature The Qing dynasty saw significant achievements in literature, particularly in the areas of fiction and drama. The dynasty's writers, such as Pu Songling and Li Yu, produced works that continue to be celebrated for their literary merit and cultural significance. Medicine Under the Qing dynasty, traditional Chinese medicine saw significant developments, particularly in the areas of acupuncture and herbal medicine. The dynasty's medical practitioners, such as Zhang Zongjing and Li Shijun, wrote influential medical texts that continue to be studied and applied in China and around the world. Social Development The Qing Dynasty saw significant social developments, including the establishment of a new social hierarchy and the promotion of filial piety as a key virtue. The dynasty's emphasis on social order and morality helped to shape Chinese society and influence the development of Asian civilization. Music. The Qing dynasty saw significant achievements in music, particularly in the areas of court music and folk songs. The dynasty's music was marked by its use of traditional Chinese instruments such as the guzheng and dizha, and its influence can be seen in Chinese music throughout history. Food culture. The Qing dynasty saw significant developments in Chinese food culture, with the introduction of new culinary techniques and ingredients. The dynasty's cuisine, which was influenced by both northern and southern Chinese traditions, continues to be celebrated for its diversity and complexity. Women's rights Under the Qing dynasty, women's rights saw some advancements, particularly in the area of education. The dynasty saw the establishment of schools for girls, and the promotion of women's literacy and cultural education. Decline and Fall 
The Qing dynasty eventually fell due to a combination of factors, including political instability, economic crises, and social unrest. The dynasty's decline and fall led to a period of political fragmentation and instability, known as the Republic of China period. Impact on Chinese Culture The Qing dynasty's impact on Chinese culture was significant, with contributions in literature, medicine, music, food culture, and more. The dynasty's legacy continues to influence Chinese culture and society today, and its achievements serve as a reminder of the richness and complexity of Chinese history and civilization. Ethnic Diversity Under the Qing Dynasty, China saw an increase in ethnic diversity, with the inclusion of various minority groups such as the Mongols and Tibetans. The dynasty's policies towards these groups varied, but overall promoted cultural exchange and unity within the empire. Fashion and Clothing The Qing dynasty saw significant developments in fashion and clothing, with the introduction of new styles and materials. The dynasty's clothing was marked by its use of bright colors and intricate embroidery and its influence can be seen in traditional Chinese dress today. Traditional Festivals The Qing Dynasty saw the continuation and development of traditional Chinese festivals, such as the Spring Festival and the Mid-Autumn Festival. The dynasty's promotion of these festivals helped to maintain cultural traditions and promote social cohesion. Military Developments Under the Qing Dynasty, China saw significant military developments, particularly in the areas of weaponry and tactics. Chinese Traditions and Practices in Managing and Policing the People China has a rich history of traditions and customs when it comes to managing and maintaining social order and security. Let's explore some of these traditions and practices in the context of governance and social stability. Confucianism Confucianism is a philosophical and ethical system that has had a profound impact on Chinese culture and society. It emphasizes the importance of social order, familial piety, and moral behavior, and has influenced Chinese governance and administration throughout history. Legalism Legalism is another philosophical and ethical system that has influenced Chinese governance and administration. It emphasizes the importance of strict laws and regulations, and the use of punishment and reward to maintain social order and stability. The Mandate of Heaven The Mandate of Heaven is a traditional Chinese concept that refers to the idea that the ruler of China has the divine right to rule, as long as he or she maintains the support of the heavens. This concept has been used throughout Chinese history to justify political authority and to maintain social stability. The Civil Service Examination System The Civil Service Examination System was a system of tests and qualifications that was used in Imperial China to select government officials. It emphasized the importance of education, merit, and social order, and helped to maintain a stable and effective government bureaucracy. The Role of the Family The family has played a central role in Chinese society and governance for centuries. Family relationships and obligations are seen as crucial components of social stability, and the concept of familial piety is a central tenet of Confucianism. The Importance of Harmony Harmony has been a central value in Chinese culture and governance for centuries. The concept of harmony emphasizes the importance of balance, order, and cooperation, and has been used to promote social stability and peace. The Role of the Community The community has also played a significant role in Chinese governance and social stability. Community organizations, such as neighborhood associations and local councils, have been used to maintain social order and to provide support and assistance to those in need. 
The Use of Surveillance The use of surveillance has been a long-standing tradition in Chinese governance and administration. From the use of imperial spies to modern-day surveillance technology, the Chinese government has used surveillance to maintain social order and to identify and prevent potential threats. Respect for authority Respect for authority is an important component of Chinese culture and governance. The Chinese government has traditionally emphasized the importance of obedience and respect for those in positions of authority and has used this value to maintain social stability and order. Public shaming Public shaming has been a traditional Chinese practice for centuries, and has been used as a tool for maintaining social order and punishing those who violate social norms. While the use of public shaming has declined in modern times, it remains a powerful cultural and social force in Chinese society. Face saving. Face saving is a traditional Chinese concept that emphasizes the importance of preserving one's reputation and social status. Face saving is often used in conflict resolution and can be a powerful tool for maintaining social stability and order. Guanxi. Guanxi is a traditional Chinese concept that refers to the importance of personal relationships and connections in business and politics. Guanxi networks can be used to maintain social order and to promote cooperation and mutual benefit. The Role of Religion Religion has played a significant role in Chinese governance and social stability. Buddhism, Taoism, and Confucianism have all influenced Chinese culture and society, and have been used to promote social order and moral behavior. The Role of Media Media has become an increasingly important tool for maintaining social stability in modern China. The government controls the media tightly and uses it to promote the party's message and to maintain social order. The Rule of Law The rule of law has become an increasingly important concept in modern Chinese governance. The government has implemented a range of legal reforms in recent years, aimed at promoting transparency, accountability, and the protection of individual rights and freedoms. The Use of Propaganda Propaganda has been a long-standing tradition in Chinese governance and administration. The government uses propaganda to promote the party's message and to maintain social order and stability. The Role of the Military the military has played a significant role in Chinese governance and social stability. The government has invested heavily in military modernization and has used the military to maintain social order and to protect China's territorial integrity. The Importance of Education Education has played a crucial role in Chinese governance and social stability. The government has invested heavily in education, with the goal of promoting social mobility, improving the quality of the workforce, and maintaining social order. The Role of Non-Governmental Organizations Non-Governmental Organizations, NGOs, have become an increasingly important tool for promoting social stability in modern China. NGOs can be used to address social problems and to promote social cohesion and cooperation. The Emphasis on Stability Stability has been a central value in Chinese governance and administration for centuries. The government has emphasized the importance of maintaining social stability and order and has used a range of tools and strategies to achieve this goal. The Use of Propaganda Propaganda has been a long-standing tradition in Chinese governance and administration. The government uses propaganda to promote the party's message and to maintain social order and stability. Propaganda is often disseminated through state-controlled media, such as newspapers, television, and radio. The Importance of Social Harmony Social harmony has been a central value in Chinese culture and governance for centuries. 
The government emphasizes the importance of social harmony and has implemented policies aimed at promoting social cohesion and cooperation. The Role of Traditional Chinese Medicine Traditional Chinese Medicine, TCM, has played a significant role in Chinese governance and social stability. The government has promoted TCM as a key component of the country's healthcare system and has used it to promote public health and well being. The importance of economic development. Economic development has become an increasingly important component of Chinese governance and administration. The government has implemented a range of economic reforms aimed at promoting growth, innovation, and competitiveness, and has used economic development as a tool for maintaining social stability. The Role of the Internet The Internet has become an increasingly important tool for maintaining social stability in modern China. The government has established a vast system of Internet censorship and surveillance, aimed at controlling the flow of information and suppressing dissent. The Importance of Environmental Protection Environmental protection has become an increasingly important component of Chinese governance and administration. The government has implemented a range of policies aimed at reducing pollution, conserving natural resources, and promoting sustainable development. The Role of Civil Society Civil society has become an increasingly important tool for promoting social stability and change in modern China. Non-governmental organizations, community groups, and other civil society organizations have been used to promote public participation, social accountability, and democratic governance. The Importance of Innovation Innovation has become a key component of Chinese governance and administration in recent years. The government has invested heavily in research and development, and has implemented policies aimed at promoting innovation and entrepreneurship 